How's it going, everyone? It's your boy, my monkey, coming back at you once again. And today we're going to be discussing X Men issue 11 by Stanley and Jack Kirby. Let's get into it. Professor Xavier is receiving a signal on his new radar beam machine that uh, detects, you know, strange beings. And uh, all of a sudden, while he's informing the X Men of it, the signal gets interrupted. Meanwhile, a mysterious stranger rents a room downtown and he decides to go for a walk and he's drawn to Magneto. Now, because the signal was interrupted, Professor Xavier charges the X-Men with going and searching for this being. So they go out on the hunt for the mysterious stranger. Magneto, having drawn the stranger his way, wants him to join the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. But the stranger is like, no, I'm not having any of that. So, of course, they got to throw down. And while the stranger is repelling all these attacks, it draws the attention of the X-Men from, you know, down the way. And they come to the building where Magneto and the stranger are having their battle. So Magneto and the stranger, they escape the battle, leaving Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver behind to deal with the X-Men. Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, they don't want anything to do with the X-Men, so they decide they're going to leave the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants and go back to their homeland somewhere in Europe. Now, throughout the, the battle that I mentioned previously, the Stranger had turned the Mastermind into stone, and upon fleeing with Magneto from the battle scene, he ends up uh, taking Magneto and Toad with him into space, thus effectively ending the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, right here on issue 11. Can you believe it? I know I couldn't when I read it. Well, needless to say, I uh, enjoyed this issue more than the previous one with the whole uh, prehistoric Antarctica land or whatever. I felt like we were really getting back on track this issue with X-Men. Only I don't know who the mysterious stranger is or where he's from. You know, I'm not really up on Marvel like I am DC. Uh, so the fact that it wasn't really resolved that he just takes Magneto to space. Maybe this is a two-parter. I haven't looked too far ahead as to what's coming. Uh, I know Magneto's coming back, right? But uh, it really caught me off guard here with the whole uh, dismantling of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Those tended to be the stronger issues uh, when the two teams would clash. And now one's gone. And, uh, you know, we still see the, uh, the whole Jean Grey, Cyclops romance, you know, in the background. Oh, uh, that's still building up here. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's pretty like a whole hum issue, really. I'm going to go ahead and give it four out of five, you know. Pretty enjoyable, pretty shocking turn of events uh, with the whole dismantling of the Brotherhood. But uh, we're definitely, it feels like we're treading water here uh, with these past couple issues. I'm hoping things get back on track and we get back into some decent action. I mean, people love the X-Men. And uh, I'm reading these issues, right? I'm only 11 issues in. But uh, I'm like, what makes this team so special? Like, wh what is it? I know it's the, like the Wolverine team that comes later, but there's got to be something here, right? So we'll keep reading and we'll find out. And until next time, I'll see you there.